This is Merry Christmas Old Armadillo by Larry Dane Brimmer. And I'm going to share this with third grade. And we're going to talk about a mesa. That's the setting of the story. And how is a mesa different from a plateau? Merry Christmas Old Armadillo. He's pulling out his Christmas things. And here he has them all out. Looky there. All the pretty things to share. Old Armadillo lived all alone in a casita on a mesa above the tiny village of Santa Rosa. And one Christmas Eve, bells rang out from the village church and choir voices sailed on air. And at the sounds of Old Armadillo perked up and went to the door. Merry Christmas, he called, swinging it wide, but nobody was there. So he's looking, but nobody's out there. No friends have come to visit. At his gate, Old Armadillo Look this way and that, and that way and this, but there was only the sound of the church bells and the choir voices and the gentle shh, shh of the ristra as it swayed against the gate in the breeze. So there you have the ristra, the hot peppers. Sighing, old armadillo brushed away a tear and checked his letterbox basket one more time. It was still empty. He thought, Christmas, what's all the fuss? And glum and brooding, he shuffled back inside and sat down by the fire and drifted off to sleep, kicking up a snore that rattled the windows. And outside, Roadrunner came to visit. And he tiptoed here and there in the garden, and he was setting out the luminaires. They glimmered everywhere. Even the branches of the giant saguaro cactus outside old armadillo's casita glowed softly against the night sky. And inside... Old Armadillo kept on snoring, but outside, another visitor, Picari, was puffing from her climb. I hope I'm not late, she said, and Roadrunner shook his head and helped Picari hang her piney wreath on the ancient door. And inside, Old Armadillo kept on snoring, and outside, voices whispered, I hope these will do. Coyote set down a crate of apples and grapefruits and pears, and in the light of the luminaires they shimmered red and yellow and green, and Roadrunner nodded. They're perfect, he said. And inside, old armadillo kept on snoring, and outside, acorns and walnuts clicked and clacked as Snake gave his tail a shake. This had better be worth it, he hissed, sounding cross, and the others laughed and untangled the string of nuts from Snake's tail. And inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, voices oohed and awed, and tortoise, tortoise had brought a cactus with beautiful red blossoms. Raccoon offered a water lily. Inside, old armadillo, armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, feet paced. Eyes peered down the path into the darkness. Where is bare-ass roadrunner? Oh, that sounds like him now, Picari said. Bear yawned again and patted his mouth with his paw. I'm late, I know. I can sleep through almost anything, but not this. Did you bring it, asked Roadrunner? You didn't forget it, did you? I'm sleepy, Bear said, sounding hurt. Not forgetful. Let's do it then, Roadrunner said. And inside, old Armadillo was still snoring. And outside, Paws tried the knocker, and inside, old Miller Medillo is still snoring away. Outside, noses pressed against the window panes, and wrapped on the glass, knock, knuckles wrapped on the glass, and old Armadillo is still snoring. And outside, fist hammered on the door, and voices shouted, and old Armadillo kept on snoring. And then it got quiet and still, and inside, it suddenly became just as quiet and still, and old armadillo woke with a jump. Who's there, he called. It's us. It's just us. And old armadillo went to the door, and he thought, such a bother, such a fuss. And out he went to greet his friends. That night, air had become crisp. Stars now sparkled white in the deep blue sky. Merry Christmas, voices chimed. My old friends, old armadillo said surprised. It's been a long time. I thought you had forgotten me. It has been a long time, said Roadrunner, but a friend is not easily forgotten. And old armadillo looked in the garden beyond his friends, and the Christmas tree nearly took his breath away. Oh, he said. Merry Christmas, old armadillo, said his friends, and then one by one their voices joined with those of the choirs in the church far below. When the festive bells began to ring out again, old armadillo thought Christmas such a wonderful fuss. Merry Christmas, everyone. 
and that eve on the mesa above santa rosa the joyous sound of friendship and the love filled the night merry christmas old armadillo merry christmas everyone <laughs>